morning everyone we are going to see today about union in c union is like a structure that is a collection of different data types which are grouped together which share the same storage in case of your structure all the members will be allocated space but in case of union only one member of the union will be uh, initialized at any instant so each element in a union is called as a member has the same structure and the amount of storage allocated to a union is sufficient to hold its largest member at any given time only one member of union may actually reside in that storage and it is the programmer's responsibility to keep track of which member currently resides in a union so your compiler will not be able to specify which member is stored and a union will be declared using the keyword union as below so union this is a tag which we call it in the same as a structure tag here it is called as a union tag and it has a members int m float x char c and code is a variable of type union item so which indicates that code can be either integer m or float x or character c so the declaration of a union will be union tag name and this tag name is optional if you are giving the variables listed in the declaration of the union here itself so union tag name opening flat bracket data type 1 member 1 data type 2 member 2 until you can have any number of uh, data members and uh, this if you want you can specify the variable list here or you can separately declare this uh, union variable one variable two separately example union item integer m float x character c and code is a variable of type union item now let us see how to initialize the union variable so union item integer m float x char c and code one code two code three are the union item type then to initialize these statements will be code one dot x equals to five code two dot x equal to five point four and code three dot c equals to character y so when you do in this fashion then the last variable member which is initialized will be the correct value that union will be holding suppose uh, i can uh, initialize suppose i have the initialization of the union variable in this fashion so that is union item integer m float x char c semicolon and uh, suppose i have used a separate declaration like union item code 1 equals to flat bracket the first member has to be the integer second member float and the last one is character actually here only one has to be initialized but if you write like this then the value of uh, m will be correct the remaining values will be garbage if you print and see you can observe it prints the garbage value suppose i have a union student with the members char name of 20 integer id which indicates that the student union member will have either name or an id now here suppose i have union student record 1 union student record 2 and uh, for the record 1 i want to initialize the name with raju so i am using strcpy record 1 dot name comma double quotes raju so which initializes the name of the record 1 to raju now if i print print as union record 1 value example and uh, print as name percentage yes record 1 dot name so which will be printing the name which is initialized to the record 1 which is raju now for the record 2 i can initialize the other member which is id so suppose uh, i write record 2 dot id equals to 27 then if i print the value of id so it is going to print the value of 27 let us see the differences between structures and union so in case of structure the keyword struct is used to declare the structure whereas in case of union 
union keyword is used to declare the union. The second difference is that structure variable will allocate memory for all the structure members separately. Whereas in case of union, the union variable will allocate the common memory for all the union members. Example, suppose you have structure employee, integer age, character, name of 50 and float salary. So the structure variable employee will have the space for age, name and the salary. So suppose the integer takes uh, two bytes, character takes one byte and float takes uh, four bytes. Then it is two plus 50 plus four, which is 56 bytes. And uh, in my last video, I have show, told that what is a slack bytes. So along with this 56 bytes, some slack bytes will also be allocated. In case of union employee, if suppose the same members integer age, character, name of 50 and float salary, then the highest uh, memory is required for storing the name which is 50 here and uh, since it is not a multiple of uh, the size of the memory, then some slack bytes will also be allocated. So the size of uh, union will always be normally it will be less than the size of the structure. So the next difference is that the structure will occupy more memory space. We have seen that the size of the structure variable is the addition of all the structure members plus some slack bytes. Whereas in case of union, it will occupy less memory space when compared to structure and the size of the union variable will be equal to the size of the largest union member. And the last difference is that structure allows us to access any or all of the members at any time whereas union it allows us to access only one member at a time if you do the initialization of the union with all the members you can see the difference that which will be the valid value and one more difference is that you can perform operations on the structure members, but in case of union, you cannot perform operations on the members of the union. Now we'll see what are the valid operations on the unions and some invalid operations on the union. So the first, uh, the valid operations are a union variable can be assigned to another union variable. That is, I can copy one union variable to another union variable by using equal to operator. Second is that a union variable can be passed to a function as a parameter as in case of the structure. And the third operation is the address of a union variable can be extracted by using ampersand operator. This is also same as in your structure. And the third, fourth one is that a function can accept and return a union or a pointer to a union. So these are some of the valid operations on the union variables. And the invalid operations on unions are don't initialize more than one union member. If you initialize also you will get a warning but all the members will not be the proper values. The next is that the size of union is not equal to size of all the members of the union variable as in the structure. And the last is that no arithmetic and logical operations are performed on union variables. So summary, at any given time only one member of union may actually reside in the storage. In a union, the amount of memory required is uh, same as that of the largest member plus some slack bytes. It is the responsibility of the user to remember which union member is uh, being used. Otherwise, the results will be unpredictable. The last point is that a function can accept and return a union or a pointer to a union as in the structure. Thank you.